he is in control of the entire galaxy. But where is he during Rogue One? Hello Star Wars fans, my name is Joel Robinson, and this is the 16 day video countdown to Rogue One. During the rise of the Empire, Emperor Palpatine's role shifted from being the center of the government to being the government. He established himself on Coruscant, in the Jedi Temple, transforming it into the Imperial Palace. And he spent much of his time reopening an ancient Sith Temple, which was under the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Palpatine went on very few excursions, but every now and then he did go off-world in order to remove rebel cells. One such expedition was to end the rebellion by Chum Sedula and the Free Ryloth movement on the planet Ryloth. In his free time, Darth Sidious continued to study the dark side of the Force in order to gain new knowledge and power. Even though nearly all of the Jedi were dead, Force-sensitive children continued to be born. Thus, Emperor Palpatine created the Inquisitors and Project Harvester, a program in order to recruit children to be future Inquisitors. We now know what Emperor Palpatine was doing up to Rogue One, but what was he doing during Rogue One? Well, during Rogue One, Palpatine returned to Coruscant and began removing the powers of the Imperial Senate, eventually totally disbanding it. Senate the Imperial Senate will no longer be of any concern to us. I have just received word that the Emperor has dissolved the Council permanently. The last remnants of the Old Republic have been swept away. It is clear from Tarkin in A New Hope that the Emperor was successful, as powerful as Darth Sidious was. How powerful was his apprentice, Darth Vader? Come back tomorrow to find out. If you like this video, then please share it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you need more Star Wars. And as always, may the Force be with you.